Andy here from buildahottub.com. In this video, I'm gonna give my ultimate guide to PVC hot tub pipe fittings. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so if you're looking to do some repairs to your hot tub, or maybe you're building your own hot tub, you're gonna need some pipe fittings. And it can be somewhat of a minefield, somewhat a little confusing with all the different acronyms and letters after the pipes and the fittings. So in this video, I'm gonna try and explain everything and make it as simple as possible. And hopefully by the end, you'll be totally clued up on all of the different hot tub pipe fittings. So before I do that, always a great opportunity. You know I like to get this in there to say, please do subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon to be notified when my videos go live. I do two long form videos just like this every single week, a whole bunch of shorts and everything on my channel focuses on hot tubs, plunge pools, parts, fittings, and, and pretty much everything in between. Okay, so let's dive in and take a look at the first type of fitting. And as you can see behind me, this fitting is actually called a socket or a slip fitting. And they come in different sizes. So whether it's a one inch, uh, one and a half, two, two and a half, uh, you still get the same style of fitting. This fitting, the pipe actually slips into the fitting as the name suggests. Hence, it's called a socket or a slip fitting. And it's probably the, the most common of hot tub pipe fittings. Next, we have a spigot connection or an SPG. Now, this can be a little confusing. A spigot connection will fit into another fitting, not the pipe. So what do I mean? Well, if you have a two inch spigot connection on the end of an elbow, for example, that spigot connection needs to go into a two inch socket or a two inch elbow. You can't connect that spigot connection directly to pipe. So the spigot connection is actually the same size as the pipe because it's gonna go into another fitting. Next type, as you can see behind me, this is a basic threaded connection. So you can have threaded both sides, you can have threaded one end, you can have a socket on the other. Very simple, they come in different sizes and you just need to know whether it's a two inch, a one and a half inch, a one inch threaded connection. Unions, you might hear the word union. So what is a union? Well, this is a union behind me. A union normally joins pipe to a piece of equipment or it joins two pieces of pipe together. It's a screw connection on one side and it is normally a socket connection on the other. So for example, you would use a union on the front and the side of a pump into which you would attach a piece of pipe. So that pipe can then be removed from the pump by undoing the threaded side of the union. Likewise, if you wanna join two pieces of pipe together, maybe you want to be able to remove them at a later date, then you can use a union with a socket on either side. They then thread together and make that connection, but it is removable at a later stage. Next type, elbows and sweeps. So elbows tend to be a kind of fixed angle. So it's normally 90 degree elbow or a 45 degree elbow, for example. The sweep bends are again for a 90 degree or a 45 degree connection, but they are a much gentler connection. So it actually helps with flow. It's not as restrictive as a 90 degree elbow a sweep connection or a sweep elbow is a, a much less inhibiting in terms of flow fitting to use on your hot tub. Tees, as you can see behind me, again, clues in the name, it's a tea piece. These come in a couple of different flavors. I'll call them flavors, why not? They can either be equal tees where all three sides are the same. So a two inch equal tee has two inch, two inch and two inch pipe connections to it. You can have a non-equal tee. So you could have two inch and two inch, which then tees off into maybe one and a half or, or a one inch. So again, tees, pretty straightforward. Clues in the name, exactly how they work. Couplers, the term couplers is used for generally a socket connection. It's a socket either side and it allows you to connect two pieces of pipe 
permanently together. So unlike a, a union coupler where you can actually undo that at a later stage, a regular coupler would be solvent welded or glued into the pipe and it's a permanent fitting. Reducers, there's actually two different types of reducer. You can get a reducing bush and you can get a reducing coupler. So a reducing bush actually fits, and you can see one of these behind me, it fits inside of another fitting. So you could put a two inch to one and a half inch reducing bush inside of a two inch 90 degree elbow. That would allow you to have two inch pipe coming in and one and a half inch pipe going out. So a reducing bush fits inside of another fitting. Now a reducing coupler is generally a socket either side, but you would have a two inch socket on one side and a one and a half inch socket in the same example on the other. So instead of having the bush that goes inside of a fitting, you're actually using a reducing coupler to drop down that pipe size. The result is exactly the same, it's just a different way of doing it. Finally, I'm gonna finish with three different acronyms that you might see on your fittings. MBT stands for Male Buttress Thread, and that is a it's described as a male connection because it's the thread is gonna be on the outside. So if you think of a hot tub pump, for example, if you look at it, so like this behind me, you can see that the thread is on the outside so you can physically feel the thread if you ran your fingers over it. That is a male thread, it's called an MBT and that's a male buttress thread. Now, if you're looking to match that up, you're gonna need a female buttress thread or FBT. That has the thread on the inside. The female buttress thread connects to the male buttress thread. Okay, pretty straightforward, but you will see those FBT and those MBT. Make sure you get them the right way round and you'll have no problem with your fittings. And finally, a barb connector, that's B-A-R-B. These are push fit connectors. So generally these are not solvent welded or glued on. You would push them onto the fitting and you can hold them in place with either a pipe clip or a Jubilee clip, but they tend not to be a glued on fitting. They're most commonly found on uh, air jets and, and bubblers. So it, it tends not to be on water lines. It's more so for, for airlines. So hopefully this short video you found useful. Now you are an expert on all of the different types of fittings that are out there and the names that are associated with them. Of course, if I can help you in any way, please do get in touch. I'm always happy to hear from you. Hit me up in the comments if you've got any questions or get in touch via the website at buildahottub.com. As always, I appreciate the view. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. If you've liked this video, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video.